back to my channel girl as you can see I'm wearing my uh, my Dima glasses which I love these are in the style Nova love 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 these glasses just before um, you guys asked me where I got it from the link will be down below plus a coupon code so stay a look for that now I went out because I needed a break and I wanted to go to Dollar Tree because I've been seeing a lot of little Dollar Tree hauls and I've been seeing some amazing things that people have been finding at Dollar Tree. Yes, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has some great things. Yeah, I gotta share it with you guys because we're, we're friends, so yeah. All right, so listen, I was watching YouTube is dangerous at nighttime, okay? I like to watch videos before I go to sleep. And I came across this video. I forgot the lady's name. My goodness, forgive me. Um, but she was talking about, like, things to buy at Dollar Tree, things not to buy at Dollar Tree, and or, like, um, luxe-looking things on a budget, something like that. And... I saw her talk about this cleaning spray, which I was like, oh, okay. This is an all-purpose peppermint sage, which we like the peppermint and sage up in this house. All-purpose cleaner with plant-delivered ingredients. So this is all plant-based, which is nice. It's not harsh, no chemicals, um, safe to use around, you know, kids, animals, and stuff like that, which is great. Now... This is what made me want to pick it up. It's great on glass. It's great on counters, tiles, wood, and stone. And it's awesome. It does not look like no Dollar Tree packaging. This looks really, really nice. And I just had to pick it up just to try it out. I want to see how well it works. But so far, I've been hearing a lot of great things about this spray. Now, I found the dish soap. And um, it's also peppermint sage, plant-based, of course. And the packaging, like I said, I love the black and the white. It's beautiful. I think this looks luxe. I think this looks more higher end than the colorful and weird-looking packaging that they do carry and other stuff. But this looks promising, and I'm excited to try this out. And I think it's going to look aesthetically pleasing in my uh, kitchen. Because my kitchen is marble, white, gray, and black. So I think that's going to look great in there. And then I also found this Naturals Infused with Essential Oils Aromatherapy Spray. It's by the brand Wizard. It looks like that. And it says it's for mental focus and restore energy. And the scent is rosemary cinnamon. And I believe, let's see, where do, where do you spray this? Is it just in the air? Shake before use. Um, okay, this is magic in the air with Wizard Naturals. Wizard's Premium Spa Collection. Oh, so there is a collection of this. I did see another scent. I think it was like... Um, it was more like a citrusy scent. I don't know if it was orange or lemon, something like that. But I did see that one. I didn't pick that one up. I wanted to get this one because this is what the lady was saying, that it smells amazing. So I said, I got to pick this up. And I do like cinnamon. So, yeah, you just spray it into the air. And it's supposed to be good for you. So I wanted to try that out. Got that. Okay. Now, another thing I saw, which was a great hack okay now if you have a swifter mop which i do i get tired of constantly purchasing the swifter pads okay the swifter pads they get dirty so quick you throw them out and then you're like oh i gotta use another one and then before you know it it's all gone 
So I saw this hack from someone that they bought these mop pads at Dollar Tree. Well, this one is more like a towel material. I got two of these. And then this one is more like a, like it feels like a microfiber type of material. And um, I got two of those as well. And yeah, so the cool thing is that they are reusable and I just, I saw someone use it, pop it in the washing machine and then reuse it again, which is absolutely money saving and amazing. So I want to test these out and see how they go. I think they're gonna be wonderful. So, got that. Next thing I got are these clear gloves. I always try to get gloves at Dollar Tree. Um, I've purchased like the medical gloves, which are like the blue ones, the blue um, latex ones. And I keep them in my little, um, I have a drawer in the bathroom where I keep like medical things just in case if the kids get hurt or whatever. And I always want to make sure that I have gloves there and like all these different things just in case. Just in case, even if I don't use it, I just always like to have it. I also have gloves in the kitchen in my, um, one of my drawers that I keep aluminum foil and Ziplocs and stuff. I keep gloves, cooking gloves there. Um, and just in case if I have to season chicken or anything that matter, I'll just put gloves on, toss them out done so i have to buy more of these and they come with 10. they're one size fit all and yeah they're good and i found these at the section where they have like medicine and um like band-aids and stuff like that so yeah now the next thing that i did get um is this which you guys are probably gonna be like why do you need rope um so <laughs> I got this uh, paracord rope and um, it looks like this. You never know when you need things like this. Trust me, okay? I have a big dog. I have a um, Presa Canario dog and um, he likes to break out of his cage outside all the time, okay? this this He's a beast, he's big. He's strong and he knows how to get out of his cage. So he had broke a, a part of the door of the gate outside. So I needed rope to like tie it to keep him inside. And I used zip ties. It worked for a while and then he busted right out of it. And now I'm gonna try this rope and hopefully it's good. It looks heavy duty, it's pretty thick. Um, and hopefully he can't break it. That's why I got it. But yeah, it's always good to have rope anyway. Okay, next thing that I purchased, which was an interesting find for me, I found this Hey Human, which I believe is Jada Pickett Smith's uh, brand. This is her line of, I guess, body care. And they had them at Dollar Tree. And um, I found the body wash and the lotion, which looks like this. I've been seeing everybody hauling these as well. So I was so excited to find this. And um, I think they originally are $17 and I got it for $1.25, so hello. And they had different scents. They had a banana one and there was another one that was like an apple something, but I didn't, I didn't see that one. I saw that in somebody's video, but the banana one I did see, it was only the lotion and I didn't like the scent. It was a very artificial banana. I didn't, it just, I didn't like it. So this one is the Lavender Vanilla. And it says it's hydrating, replenishing. It has jojoba seed oil, um, essential oils, dermatologist tested for all skin types, sulfate, phosphate, and uh, paraben free, vegan and cruelty free. That's the body wash. Yep. And the same thing for the lotion. It says nourishing and moisturizing with shea butter, vitamin E, and essential oils, and everything else is the same thing. And um, you guys, this is a great find. I'm actually really happy that I found this. But let me tell you something. If you do not like lavender, 
You are not gonna like this, okay? This smells, it smells really good to me. I like lavender, but it's like, oh my gosh, it's just so good. I should've got another one. I should've got another one, but it's okay. I'm gonna use this. This should be very good. Oh my gosh, love it. Lavender is very relaxing and calming. So I'm excited to try this. So that's that. Next thing that I did find that everybody was saying that these are really good in the laundry is these fragrance boosters. I usually use like the Downy Unstoppables and, and all that stuff. And, um, but I heard that Dollar Tree does have another like a different one of these and they're like they're actually downies but they're not called downy they're like the rejects of downy and because the, because they're not like a whole circle they're like split and they put them in different packages and they sell it it's like a big container and i've been on a hunt for that and everyone says it's the same exact thing but for $1. twenty-five. hello those downies unstoppables they're like 17 dollars who wants to pay $17 for a big jug that's going to go super fast? Like, I don't know. But anyway, I heard these were good. These were fragrance boosters. Like, they like little crystals. And they're supposed to be very, very good. And a lot of people said these smell really, really good in their laundry. It smells amazing. This smells like downy to me. It smells so good. This is the... Which scent this is? It just says fresh scent. So I'm excited to try this. If these are really good, I'm just going to be buying this and put it in a large jar. And that's that. All right, next thing that I purchased was a squirt bottle. Um, I bought this one because I felt like this seemed like a good quality looking uh, spray bottle. Usually they have like the little ugly ones. But when I saw these, I really, really liked them. They had them near like the Easter stuff. And they had them in pink, blue, and then I got the green one, which is nice. And it's great quality. I need this because I have a daughter with long hair. And I'm always doing her hair in the morning. So I'm going to put water in this to spray in her hair when I brush it back with gel and stuff like that. So this is going to come in handy. Or you can also just like get these and put cleaning products in there and just clean your house and have them like color coordinated like pink could be like an a uh, window cleaner um green can be like a disinfectant and then let's say blue can be like a wood cleaner you could do it like that so yeah and then you can get like labels and do all that but yeah so the next thing that i bought which i always buy all the time don't sleep on it listen i was in doubt until i used it and it was amazing these dish pods from Dollar Tree are really, really good. These are the Ultra Shine, and it leaves your dishes really clean. It doesn't have, leave like a residue or anything like that. Um, it cleans them very well, and I've been using this for years since I was living in Connecticut, so okay, for a very, very long time, and I love these. I like to use this. I like to use the Cascade and all that stuff, um, but... They're $1.25 and they come with 10. Hello? So I bought four of these. Okay. That's 40 pods. $1.25 each. Hello. And then I purchased this because I kind of wanted to um, be a little creative. I saw someone use this candy jar from Dollar Tree. Okay. You're just going to remove the labels. All right. Remove the tape and everything. And um, what they did was they put a label here, really cute, and you can either sit it up like this or sit it up sideways like that in your cabinet or whatever, and you put the dish pods inside. I saw people using them for laundry pods, which were really cool, but I figured, let's say, um, to put dish pods. So I'm going to remove it just so you guys can see what it looks like because 
with the labels, I feel like it's kind of messing up the flow. You know what I mean? But just so you can get the idea that I have in my head, I'm going to show you guys what I was planning to do with this. Okay. Forgive me. I get excited for little things like this. I don't know why. But anyway. So we have our bowl, right? We're going to open these dish pots, and I'm going to show you what they look like too so you can see them. These dish pods look like that. They look like the regular dish pods that you get. Okay, so I'm gonna just dump them in there so you can see what they look like. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, by the way. I thought this was such a great idea. Okay got all of them in there and they look like this how cute okay and then you put the lid on you can stand them up like this and put a label put dish pots or something like that or you can have them laying side like this and then when you need them you open it take it out put the lid back on super cute i thought this was a great idea so that's what i bought this for you can buy it for candy but whatever that's that Okay, and the next thing that I bought was this tissue paper, which tissue paper is a must for me because I sell on Macari and things like that, and I like to wrap my things in cute paper and stuff like that. So that's what I bought it for. And also use it for presents and stuff like that, but that's what I use it for. Okay, and then I got these um, laundry essentials baggies that these are really good these they come one inside of them and they look like this okay and what you do is let's open one just so you can see what it looks like on the inside okay so these bags you open them and they're pretty big look how big this thing is they're really big so you stuff like your blankets or old clothes or whatever you want to put in there and then you you vacuum with your vacuum you suck out all the air and then they're like flat and you can hide them underneath your bed or you can put them on the top of your closet these are amazing and they're good quality and it's the suction is really good like it stays like that and um yeah this is like probably like my seventh or eighth one Cause I have a lot of throw blankets that I use in certain seasons so I use these to put them away or like summer clothes or, or things like that these are really really good for a dollar 25 amazing really quickly I wanted to show you guys these books that I found at Dollar Tree these are by Nancy Drew these are like mystery books they're so cool and then I found these the Hardy Boys which are really, really cool. My kids have to read every single day and my daughter loves to read. So I got all these books for $1.25 each, which are amazing and they're all chapter books. So if you guys are looking for books for your kids, check out Dollar Tree first. So I found these really, really cute, cute, things you know how sometimes dollar tree has a dot like plus side that you can buy things for like two three four five dollars so i found these really cute bunnies look how cute they are look at the material it's like a faux grass they're so cute i bought two for three dollars look how cute and i figured i'll put these um on my kitchen counter when i decorate because i like to decorate for every season so since we'll be entering spring i'll put like some beautiful flowers and then i'll have these on the little counter i didn't buy these for easter um i think bunnies you know i think of spring when i think of bunnies so i don't think of bunnies for easter and eggs doesn't make any sense to me 
Um, because bunnies don't lay eggs, but uh, they lied to these kids. But anyway, I these are so cute. Look at oh my god, I love them. And um, yeah, I'm gonna decorate with this in my kitchen. So I'm so excited that I found these. These are so cute. And then they had bigger ones. I didn't really like the bigger one that they had that were five dollars. And um, the way it was standing, it just looked weird to me. I like those a lot better. Okay. Let's get into my last bag. I'm so sorry. This video was so long. Okay. Um, I bought some party supplies because I have two birthdays that are coming up. My smallest son, his name is Moses. He's going to turn three years old next month. And then the following month is my son, Samuel. He's going to be turning six years old. So I got two birthdays. And I, you know, I always get little supplies at Dollar Tree all the time. Do not, again, do not sleep on Dollar Tree. They have the best things. You just have to look. I know that when you go into the store, it looks cheapy, choppy. Some stuff is like, oh, what's that? You will find some good stuff. You have to take your time and look, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram Maybe, maybe not, and probably seen the post that I had made when it was my daughter's birthday or my son's birthday. I always decorate with Dollar Tree stuff, and I make it look beautiful. I make the stuff don't not if they don't look like Dollar Tree stuff. So, with that being said, they had some really cute themes. They had like maybe four or five themes, and I really, really liked this theme for my son. So for Samuel, my six-year-old, he loves dinosaurs. So I picked out a dinosaur theme. They had these stickers, these footprints of dinosaur paws. And there's 15 stickers inside. And I figured that I could put these all over the counter. Okay, I have, I have an idea of what I want to do. But I want to put them around. So they look like dinosaur prints walking around and stuff. And I thought these were super, super cute. So I got that. And then for him, I got this really cute happy birthday, like, table centerpiece. And I'm going to put this on my kitchen counter. And it looks like this. It's super cute. And it's pretty big. This is happy birthday. And let me show you the picture of what it's supposed to look like. So it's supposed to look like that. And it's really great quality. I really like it. The color is not dull or anything. Okay. Now with that, I purchased, because they didn't really have too much of like the different decorative plates and stuff. But I did get the decorative plates for that um, style with the dinosaurs, which look like this. Super, super cute. And I use, usually use the decorative plates for like cake and stuff like that. So I got that and then I bought plain little plates because it's just really us. It's us and the kids and um, their grandmother and their uncle. And um, we like to do like a little party with us and stuff like that and have some food and um, watch some movies and cake and or if we go out or whatever. But we always do like something at the house. I've always been like that and I've always loved doing stuff like that for my kids so yeah i bought blue to match with his dinosaur theme and then i also bought blue cups to go with it and then i also bought blue spoons forks and knives to go with the whole theme and and then i got these little napkins with the theme on there Super, super cute. It's just awesome. So cute. And then what I will do is buy some balloons and stuff like that when I'm closer to the date. Now, um, oh yeah, I also bought this little balloon here. It's the number six. These are really cute. Like, when you blow them up, they're not that big. They're little. But for me, what I do is I like to put like I like to make like a flower balloon. So it'll be like four balloons and then the 
the number in the middle and it stands right up. It's so cute. And then you leave it like on the table or something like that. So I bought that. And then I just got like extra spoons and forks and knives and whatever. Now, for Moses theme, I found these really, really cute, cute theme. I got this large happy birthday sign that I can put hanging up on the wall. And then I purchased these little face masks. Look how cute! And it has like all the different animals. There's a monkey, a giraffe, a lion, and a tiger. So cute. The, the kids are gonna love this. Put that on their faces. And then I found, oh yeah, I forgot. I also got masks for the dinosaur theme as well. So they're gonna love it. They love stuff like this. And then I got, they didn't have decorative plates for that animal theme. Well, on that Dollar Tree they didn't, so I just bought green and green cups to go with the like animal zoo theme. And then green spoons, forks, and knives. And then they had the cute little napkins that says, let's get wild. How cute. And then, of course, the number balloon. I got the number three for him. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. This Dollar Tree, the two Dollar Trees that I went to to get like things back and forth are like one of the best Dollar Trees that I've been to because they had everything, everything. So yeah, again, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Go get you some stuff. Go to a Dollar Tree. Go look at some things. Um, not, I'm not saying to like do a whole big shop at Dollar Tree. Not everything is like the best for you, but you will find some hidden gems, okay? You will find some hidden gems. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys in another one. Bye.